Hi guys, uh, I am excited to share to you guys that the Pokemon Legend Z8 game can fully run in PC now in 4K resolution and in 60 FPS. So if you're interested in this, then please do watch this guide. So first of all, what you need is that you'll need to have a copy of all the files that I've highlighted here in my folder. And these are the Dynamic 60 FPS mod for the Pokemon Legend Z8 version 1. You'll also need the emulator that is called Eden Emulator for Windows. You will also need the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys and it should be in version 20 in order for it to detect and play Pokemon Legend CA. And the file format of this game should be in NSB or XCI file format. But before you follow this guide and you agree that you have already purchased a legal copy of the game, you own it, you have bought it from Nintendo or from your or from your local store, game store, be sure to do that, own the physical copy and own the Nintendo Switch console itself. So once you own uh, these things, then you can proceed into this guide, okay? Because we don't condone piracy here. So go to Google, just search for Eden Emulator, search for it, eden-mo.dev is their official website, click on that, go click on the download button here. You can install uh, Eden in your Android phone if you're a powerful Android device. And if you can also install it in Linux and in Steam Deck, you can also install this in Mac OS for those. Uh, I mean, it's still coming soon, but the user version has it in Windows. Uh, this is the download that you need to uh, click. Click on that, and then just hover down below and look for Eden Windows version 0.3. AMD64 is the file. Click on that. Download it now and locate that downloaded file which I have already here downloaded so I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna open the zip file of Eden Windows double click on it to install this emulator all you have to do is just create a new folder name it Eden emulator and then select all the files that's inside the zip file drag and drop these files into this folder here to install Eden emulator once done close in that then open the folder locate the Eden application file double click it to run it and that's how you basically install Eden emulator and it's really easy so I'm just gonna delete this because I have already installed mine and it's properly installed and optimized so go ahead open Eden emulator yours will look empty because it is your first installation and you will need some files installed in it before it can play switch games so what are those files uh, so those files are the three files here so these are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. It should be in version 20 for it to detect and play Pokemon Legends and CA. And if you're asking me on how to get all of these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console itself and that you have modded your Switch and you have installed a custom firmware. Once you have this custom firmware, you have full access now into your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those, just look for all of the keys and the firmware file of the Switch zip them up and transfer them into your PC just like mine here. Now for the game there is no other way around this but again please do purchase the game legally own the physical copy dump it up into a digital file format and then you will have an XCI or NSP file format just like mine. Now for those that who don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware of their switch and don't know how to dump their physical copy of their game then I'm going to teach you another way around this to get these files so again, please do own the physical copy of the game and the Nintendo Switch console itself. Now prepare your mobile phone, scan this QR code here with your QR code reader so that you will be redirected to the page where you can get all of these free files. Be sure to follow all of the instructions to site to get these files. And once you have these files, then we can now proceed in installing them. And I'm going to assume that you have now these files into your PC, so let's install them. So open Eden emulator again, and then Open the keys zip file that you have downloaded, open the folder inside, and then go to Eden, go to tools, install the encryption keys, create a new folder, name it keys just like this one, open it, and then just drag and drop the product keys and title keys inside. And once done, click on the product keys like that, hit open, hit OK, and go back to tools again, install the encryption keys, select the title keys, hit open, hit OK close this one then it's time to install the firmware go to tools install firmware install from the zip file and then locate on the firmware zip file version 20.5.0 that is the one we need hit open and it will now install the firmware version of the switch in Eden emulator 
You'll know that it's successful because right down here below, it will say the firmware version which is 20.5.0. And let's just look for Pokemon Legend ZA now. And this is the game icon of the game. I played 22 minutes of it. And it's a 4 gigabytes of file in SP file format. Now, uh, we need to install a mod for this game in order for it to perfectly run in 60 FPS. And to do that, just uh, hover into the icon of the game, right click on it, and then just click on the open mod data location. Click on that. And then remember the QR code that I provided to you. It will also have the 60 FPS mod. So open that and then just drag and drop this file here to install the 60 FPS mod. And when you're done, close in it. And then the next step now is to optimize the game to run in Eden Emulator because there is some certain issues with the game we're in when you load up in Lumia City. When you enter Lumia City, the game will crash during the cinematic scene. So to fix that, so that you can progress to the game, you have to change some settings. So go again to the game icon of the game here, right click on it and go for configure game. Now in add-ons, as you can see, Dynamic 60 FPS mod has been selected. Again, please do pause the video in each tab so that you can have uh, you can follow the settings that I that I set here. System uh, settings that we need to change is this one. It should be set in eight gigabytes of DRAM. Now go to CPU, set to auto. Now go to graphics. So be sure to copy everything here. Um, set in Vulkan API and a dedicated graphics card at least if you have a gtx 1060 you'll be able to play the game easily so that is fairly an old card so you'll be able to play this game because i know that you have a better one so here please do copy every setting here in resolution scale if you have a lower end of a cpu and if you're having performance issues just change this to one times resolution because this is the base resolution of the switch and everything here you can change this to bilinear if you're having some performance issues but AMD Fidelity FX is really quite good. Now go to advanced graphics. So the settings that we need to change here is I have set mine to high. You can change this to normal if you want. To default, for me it's high. And isotropic filtering is set to automatic. Then here I can also set this to 16, 16 times because I have a powerful CPU and graphics card and BC3 medium quality uh, is the setting that we need to change here because before it is uncompressed and also you will need to check the use asynchronous shader building hack to fix the issues in the game I have set this to high also GPU extensions I have set uh, the default setting for this is 3 but it will crash the game so we need to change this to 0 and go to audio everything everything is set to auto and everything every setting every other settings um Eden emulator should be set into default and once done hit ok congratulations your uh Eden emulator is now fully capable of playing any Nintendo Switch games such as become a legend ZA into your PC now so a little bit of disclaimer I will not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running into my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they do not support this kind of content so if I show you a gameplay that this game is running perfectly in PC then my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down and I don't want that so I hope you guys do understand okay but I am willing to compromise a little bit and that's why I will try to boot up into the title screen of become legend ZA to show you proof that this video tutorial is working and once you follow this, you'll be able to play the game easily into your PC. Now I am the title screen, I'm just going to blur the screen from here on out, so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with the copyright strike. Again, please do understand. And I'm going to hover down right here below. It says game and it runs here, it says 60 FPS. So the mod is properly working and that it is running 60 FPS now. So I'm just going to stop the emulation here. So as long as you followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, you'll be able to play Pokemon Legend ZA easily into your PC now. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. And also if you find this video tutorial helpful, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because that will help me out. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.